to other news now, Ethereum's long-awaited merge, the transition from a proof-of-work to a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, successfully occurred last week, and according to observers, the move is a significant accomplishment in the history of open-source software and Web3. Confused? Well, let's find out more about what this means from Simon Dixon, the CEO and founder of BankToTheFuture.com. He joins me now from the Isle of Man. Simon Dixon, it's always a pleasure having you on Channels Business Global because we get to feast upon your crypto Bitcoin knowledge, um, which is very much needed today because last week Ethereum made what's been described as an historic shift from proof of work to proof of stake. What does this mean um, in layman's terms and what has been in the past seven days the ripple effect on the entire sector? Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a subject that's been meant to happen for about seven years. So it's seven years ago I invested in um, the original Ethereum. Um, and within seven months, they said they would shift from proof of work to proof of stake. Um, but it's finally happened seven years later. Um, and essentially what it means is that uh, Bitcoin is powered by a network of computers all around the world. And um, it has a fixed money supply and it distributes those uh, bitcoins to those that are uh, burning electricity in this market, which allows it to be very decentralized and distributed in a way where you need no government and you need no banks. Um, proof of stake is an alternative model that's been played around for a long time. Um, but Ethereum is the second largest blockchain in the ecosystem. Um, and proof of stake essentially means that you control the network by owning a stake. So when you own Ethereum, um, you actually receive new Ethereum just for holding it. Um, and it's a new model. Uh, the challenge with proof of stake is that it's proven to be somewhat um, of a less decentralized model. Mm. Uh, the reason for that is because it's more complex in order to stake it. And when the average user um, is trying to stake those coins, they tend to just give it to someone else to do it for them. So they put it at an exchange and those exchanges are regulated. Um, and therefore, you end up with the majority of the stake being controlled by regulated institutions, which is similar to the central bank versus banking system. Simon Dixon, CEO and co-founder of BankToTheFuture.com in the Isle of Man. Thanks so much for joining me on the show.